Hey folks, uh, welcome to my channel, The Ginny Bird. Today I have my friend Amanda here. Hi. Um, and your channel is Fandom Matters. Yes. Do you want to say a little <laughs> little thing about what, what you make? Sure. So I talk about like the Harry Potter fandom and other nerdy things that I like, like books, movies. Um, I do a little bit of lifestyle too with um, some makeup and stuff like that. So We're both here at VidCon and this is... This is your first VidCon, Second. correct? Second VidCon. Yeah. Okay, right, because right. I met you last year. Yeah. Um, this is my fourth VidCon, oh and one of the things that I struggle with as like a creator in general, and especially as someone who's been volunteering, is meeting someone as a fangirl versus meeting someone as a like a, almost a peer. Yeah. Um, and like VidCon is such a strange place to have that conversation. It sure is. It's like you have to force yourself to be like a different person sometimes. I yeah. Like. Yeah. But there are definitely people where I'm just like, ah, I want to meet you and I want to be friends with you. Yeah. But like, I want to be friends with you. I don't want to be like a fangirl. Like of a lackey you. or like, yeah, hey, exactly. Or just uh, someone that they want to. Yes. <laughs> and that is like the thing that I struggle with the most. So I was thinking earlier about, I was at um, a fandom networking group meetup thing, and one thing I realized is when you're in a setting like that, you don't know how many subscribers the people have unless you like, already follow them, and they don't know how many you have if they don't follow you, so it's kind of like you're neutral. Just, yeah, you're just talking about your content and what yeah. things that you like to talk about, and that makes it a little less intense. Like I was talking to someone who I followed yesterday, so I knew she had way, way, way more followers than me, but we just kind of connected on the level of like content and interest, right. which is cool because that takes nice. away some of that stress. Yeah, and I think another community that, uh, so I was just at the Little But Love panel, oh, cool. which was, it, it was all about like building small communities and how to like maintain small communities and it was it was so incredible it was like everything that I wanted it to be right because it, it was it wasn't just like I feel like it's, when you have a panel of smaller youtubers it's easy to slip in or even when you're talking to smaller youtubers in casual conversation it's easy to slip into complaining about how you wish you were bigger okay yeah um but this panel wasn't about that. It was like, how can we grow a community instead of growing us Number. and our brand? Okay, that's valuable. And that was, so, it was so cool. To, and it was a lot of like, actual like, this is how we did this. Oh, that's And this is like, these are the tools that we use, sort of thing. I was, um, I was one of the people who got one of the lotteries for the creator chats and I got to talk to Hannah Witten, but there were about uh, nine other people in the room. And they were also fascinating, but I had just as good of a time just chatting with them about things yeah. before Hannah even came in the room. And yeah, like there's value in everybody around you, especially at a creative event like this. I also had a creator chat with Mindy Waiter, and it was nice. like, it was cool to talk with him and to hear like stuff about how he makes his channel and makes his videos. But it was also <laughs> just like, it was just like a, a tiny little room to meet with a bunch of people who make things yeah and i really appreciate that vidcon did that this year so i was at an event where there were more featured creators and it's not something i would normally be included in but i got lucky enough to be able to go there and one of my friends complimented me on my ability to like network and like get a collab with somebody who is a lot bigger than me and it just felt great because i tried really hard and i like was hoping I was doing it the right way, and I guess I did so do it the right way. Um, that's something that I wound up talking about with somebody yesterday too. Was if you are the smaller creator approaching a larger creator, the burden is on you. Right. Yeah. Like you are the one who has to be like, this is my idea. This is why it would be cool. Like this is why you're the person that I want to do this with. Right. Yeah. And. As much as like 
that's yeah that's that is kind of annoying i'll admit yeah. that because i just want to be like there are people where i'm just like i don't even necessarily feel like i need to make a video like i don't want anything i, I don't want like fame from right. you i yeah. just think you're a really cool genuine person and i want to hang out with you yeah same here <laughs> i don't know how to solve that and i but i think yeah. I just think like building community and making friends in general is yeah. a huge part of it. So you can't go after somebody for like the work they do or like the audience they have. You should go after them because you care about them as a human. Yeah. Because I mean that it is makes awful a huge difference. Don't, right? <laughs> yeah, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. You should go and check out the video that we made on Amanda's channel. Yes. Because. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, we talked about branding over on my channel, so mm -hmm. check that out and subscribe to both of us. Cause Yay! Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I always say at the end of my videos, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to do something that you love today. And I will see you guys next time.